How's it going guys? We are back with another video here. We're going to kind of break down my Hut Champions run. It was a pretty good one this weekend. My best one so far this year. Again, early on. It's only been like the third or fourth Hut Champs, but I really had to uh, perform better and that was something I really, really wanted to do because I want to get top-notch rewards always for you guys to see on my stream on Twitch. 14 Henrique TV. Again, if you guys want to watch my Twitch streams always every day at around 3 p.m. Eastern. It could be a little earlier, depending on, but we always show the new content and all that good stuff. So here's what we did in Hot Champs this weekend. Uh, we secured, looks like top 100 this weekend. Top 50 would have been nice. I lost a game I feel like I shouldn't have lost, but it's all right. 15 and five, a really, really nice run here. I can show you guys who I played, some top notch players. Uh, Monster is a great player. That game was tough. I was down two nothing after one. Uh, this guy, don't believe I should have lost to, but you know, it's all right. Like it happens. This guy's a very, very good player as well. Gregory, he's uh, he's very good. Uh, Dame, I, I feel like this game was like really weird. Odie was like, it really was a um, it's a pretty even game, I'd say overall. Definitely deserved to win, but. I feel like his goalie made some key saves at key times to kind of keep him where he was always. So that was huge for him. Gongsh was a fantastic player as well. That was a tough game, but I was able to come out on top. Leafy, great player as well. McFlurry, great player as well. I'm really happy with how I performed. This guy is <laughs> really good, uh, but I was not able to beat him. Uh, call me Dutch, fantastic player as well. 2-1 loss there. Um, Booyah, good player. Leafs 34, I don't know what that game was, but... Yeah, I mean, we played well. This this guy, this is a last CS, by the way. He he ragged on me the last time, and uh, I made sure to return the favor, that's for sure. But, yeah, pretty good run on Hut Champs. I can't complain. So here's some quick highlights from Hut Champs for me. Nothing too crazy, but... Scooped up along the wall by Salmi. Heads to the back of the net. Along the half wall with the puck. Scores! Put the man in Manta! Anthony There's a blast, and he comes up with the save. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. All alone. He scores! Boy, he didn't take much time at all. He was so tight to the net, and he makes a nice move to finish it off. So there you go. We had a nice little run there in champs. Now let's get into some players that you guys should look out and try to pick up, all right? So we're gonna ask D-Man for 50K, guys. So here we go. Uh, we're gonna go 10K to 50K. That's fair enough, I think. Definitely not 100, but we'll do that. All right, go to 50K and we'll do lefty and righty because why not, honestly? Let's make it helpful for you guys. So we're gonna go lefty, here we go, and there's 83 that come up right away and uh, so I can definitely suggest to you right away um, Headman is good, but I don't I feel like he's really really slow um, Giordano's card could be solid. What is his 99 stat? I know he's got TK too. His 99 stat is Strength, which is nice, but I mean it's not really gonna do too much for you. Unfortunately um, Morgan Riley, I love his card so much. He's even he's way way less than 50k, but very 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 good card. I'm such a fan of this card. I don't know what it is, just he feels so fast. I mean, which he is, but doesn't feel like he can get uh, knocked off the puck that easy. Deline, a very very good card. Of course, his 90 overall is amazing, but 63 190, uh, pretty good speed and actually a pretty good shot considering most D-men don't have really really good shots at this point in time. So Deline's very very solid. Uh, Erickson's actually not that bad uh, either. He's got SP too, just because of that synergy, it really helps him out. 88 speed. Uh, 5'11", 192. I know I have a friend that uses them and definitely likes them a lot. So this card could be very good for you guys. Uh, definitely worth trying, I'd say, at the very least. Uh, but after that, lefties really aren't too uh, common. There's my boy Ty, Ty Smith, of course, uh, current devil. But after that, it gets definitely uh, sketchy for sure. There really aren't too many great options. Uh, Ludwig's okay, but these aren't really. Keith is solid, but again, I, I spend 40k on an 83, probably not, right? Um, is there really anything else here? I don't believe so. Again, lefties are really, really tough. Defense in general is really tough to get for cheap. Yossi I love a lot as well, guys. If you're looking for maybe Roman Yossi, could be a great option. Right Ds, uh, there's a decent amount here. Drew Doughty's fantastic for 20k. Are you kidding me? Drew Doughty is a fantastic card, let me tell you. Uh, love this card so much. 90 speed. Um... His shot's good. I don't know what it is about this card, but I'm a big, big fan of Drew. Uh, Dougie Hamilton's card's solid. Uh, again, the synergy's not great, but 90 speed. Again, there really aren't a lot of good D-men, so I'm just trying to let you guys know what I think. Troop is eh. I wouldn't really go for him. He's decent speed, but 
Uh, this guy is really, really good, of course, because of his speed. He's got 94 speed. His shot is awful, so you're not scoring any D to D one timers with this guy, but that's all right. Um, this guy's fast for sure. Um, Carlson's, of course, probably your best option. Eric Carlson, 40k. Uh, that's a very, very good deal. Carlson is by far the best right-handed demon in the game right now uh, for his price, 100%. I mean, there's icons like Chelios, but even Chelios' card is not anything too special. So this Carlson could be, uh, probably not could be, but this would be your best option when it comes to right-handed demon at the very least. Um, there you go. Uh, Latang's a pretty serviceable one as well. Burns, I hear really, really bad things about Burns. His speed is just really, really too slow. 85, you definitely get flat-footed a lot with this guy. Would definitely not go for Brent Burns. Um, Vodnin, Weber, he's a little too slow as well. I mean, besides that, I mean, there's really not that many other options. I mean, Subban's definitely not 10K. He's less than that. But, um, yeah, Rafa oh, Rafael Diaz is an awful one either. 1T with 94 speed. You know, this, this could be a really good card, actually. I recommend Rafael uh, Diaz. He could be good. 20K, that's really not a, a lot. And Ekblad, that's another card. It, it's more of a, an expensive one. His prime time is simply sensational. I've gotten a lot of, of uh, people telling me that. He's really, really good. So, Aaron Ekblad, prime time. There it is. So, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel here. Follow my Twitch, Twitter. Instagram 14 Enrique TV. Join the Discord in the description, and I will see you all in the next video.